this section of the garden. I planted a few flowering seeds and a few dahlias and bulbs. I have a couple of lilies coming up. And I have a few seeds, uh, weeds to pull. This is my fertile area. Oh, look at that. Now, apparently, fritillaria have the same problem with lilies in that they like, they attract lily beetles. You see the orange beetles? Yep. They are disgusting. They have little larvae that look like snails that eat the leaves off my flowers and then they end up putting their eggs all along the leaves. So I'm going to have to keep an eye on these. I'm going to go get something to pick these guys off. Fritillaria are beautiful flowers and the deer do not eat them. They smell kind of skunky. Um, look at all those beetles. Let me go check my other fritillaria and see if they are being attacked as well. I see them in there. Those red things. This is another fertile area that I have. And you can see the blossoms are starting to form. These are gonna be yellow or red. And I don't see any um, lily beetles on this one. And they would look like they would be red beetles. And underneath would be orange or red eggs. And I don't see any so far either. I'll have to keep checking on these to make sure I don't miss them. Very beautiful flower when they're in bloom. And this is another fertile area. Also going to start to bloom. And again, I don't see any, I don't see any beetles on this one either. Let me go take care of the other one. Boy, they're stinky. No wonder if the deer don't like them. So from what I can see, I have three plus two plus three, maybe about 10. And I'm gonna try and put them in this uh, soapy water. Uh, no, it's not organic because I don't care if I kill them organically. I just want them to drown. And they're pretty fast. They kind of know. Maybe they remember me from last year. They fly, they crawl, and they dig in the dirt. So they like to fall on the bottom. You see they already made holes in the in some of the leaves. See how many I got so far. There's still, there's still a couple here hiding. Whoops. Gotta get them before they run away. Mm -hmm. So, and then I'm gonna check for stragglers and this looks like a Almost looks like an egg, a nymph. So we're going to look for eggs that they would be laying. Usually they lay them underneath and I would look for any extras. I think the eggs are red. They're red beetles, so I always remember they match the color of the beetle. Hopefully I got to them before they laid any eggs. So I'm going to check all of my lilies pretty well. Check the eggs. And for the next 
few days, I'll have to come back and check them every day, make sure there's no, no more eggs hatching or beetles laying eggs on them. So hopefully I got them all. I'll have to check the videotape to see if any of them fell. Once they fall down into the ground, they kind of dig themselves in a hole and then you can't find them again. So I went to check all of my other lilies and on the bottom of this little Asiatic lily, I found another lily beetle. So I'm going to be spending a few minutes uh, checking my lily plants to make sure I don't miss any stragglers and get ahead of the problem. See him down there? Yep, one of many, I bet. Okay, I think this is all I have so far for today. I am gonna save this bag for the next couple of weeks. I can just shove the other pests in the same bag and then throw it in the garbage and I'm all set. So, they're all goners and I'm not I'm not shedding a tear for these guys at all. <laughs>